Did you know you can create a profitable YouTube channel without ever showing your face or filming videos yourself? In this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know to start a YouTube automation business from scratch. By the end, you'll have a clear plan to create a passive income stream by outsourcing the work while you focus on growing your channel. YouTube automation is all about outsourcing the tasks involved in creating content so you can focus on strategy and growth. Most big businesses don't rely on just one person to do everything. They have teams. With YouTube automation, you build your own mini team of freelancers to handle scripting, voiceovers, video editing, and even thumbnail design. This lets you focus on running the business. Let me give you an example. Imagine a channel about travel tips. Instead of you personally creating videos, you hire a scriptwriter to research and write about the best travel hacks, like how to save money on flights or pack effectively. A voiceover artist records the narration. Then, an editor takes the script and voiceover, adds stock footage of travelers or destinations, and puts it all together. Finally, a thumbnail designer creates a catchy image to grab attention. You upload the video, optimize it for search, and let it earning ad revenue, affiliate income, or even sponsorships over time. But to make this work, you need to choose the right niche. Choosing the right niche is one of the most important steps when starting a YouTube channel. A niche defines the type of content you'll create and who your target audience will be. The best niches have a balance of high demand, low competition, and long-term relevance. For example, topics like personal finance, health, or education consistently attract large audiences. Evergreen niches, which remain relevant over time, are particularly valuable because they ensure your videos continue to generate views long after they're published. A good niche also has monetization potential. Some niches, like tech reviews or fitness, align naturally with affiliate marketing or sponsorship opportunities. Others, like educational content, are perfect for selling courses or eBooks. While choosing a niche, it's also important to think about your personal interests and expertise this makes it easier to create engaging content consistently. One tool I recommend is Google Trends. Let's say you're considering starting a channel about technology. Search for specific topics like smartphone reviews or top tech gadgets. Google Trends will show you how interest in these topics has changed over time. If the interest is stable or growing, that's a good sign. Another great tool is TubeBuddy, which helps you find keywords that people are searching for but aren't overly competitive. These tools will give you a solid foundation for picking a winning niche. Once you've chosen your niche, the next step is building your team. This is where YouTube automation really shines because it's all about delegating tasks to skilled professionals. By building a skilled and reliable team, you set the foundation for a streamlined YouTube automation process. Let's dive deeper into how each role operates within the workflow and how you can optimize their contributions. To maximize the scriptwriter's efficiency, Provide them with a detailed brief for each video. Include the topic, target audience, tone, and key points you'd like covered. Regular feedback is crucial to help them refine their style to align with your brand voice. A great scriptwriter is not just a content creator, but also a researcher who ensures your videos are accurate, informative, and engaging. The voiceover artist works best with a finalized script. Provide clear instructions on pronunciation, tone, and pacing. For example, in a tech review, the voiceover might need to sound precise and confident, while a storytelling video may call for dramatic pauses and a more expressive tone. Investing in a voiceover artist with access to professional-grade recording equipment ensures crisp, high-quality audio that enhances your video's production value. The editor's job is to make the content visually compelling and cohesive. To do this, provide them with the script, voiceover, and a clear outline of your vision for the video. For example, if the video is about top 10 destinations in Europe, specify the type of stock footage you want, such as aerial views of landmarks or bustling city scenes. Tools like Pexels, Storyblocks, or Shutterstock can provide high-quality stock footage. A good editor will also know how to balance visuals and audio, ensuring that the video flows smoothly and engages viewers. The thumbnail designer plays a critical role in boosting your click-through rate. Share your video title and key themes with them so they can craft a thumbnail that reflects the content while standing out in a crowded feed. Testing different thumbnail designs using tools like A-B testing can help identify what resonates most with your audience. Communication is key. Hold regular check-ins with your team to address challenges and ensure everyone is aligned with your vision. As your channel grows, consider adding specialized roles, like a content strategist to plan topics, or a social media manager to promote videos on other platforms. By delegating these tasks to experts, 
you not only enhance the quality of your content, but also free yourself to focus on strategy, audience engagement, and scaling your business. This team-centric approach is the backbone of YouTube automation success. There are platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, and Freelancer where you can find talented individuals for these roles. For example, if you're hiring a scriptwriter, look for someone with experience in your niche who has a portfolio of past work. You can usually find freelancers at various price points so you don't have to break the bank when starting out. My advice? Start small. Test their work with one or two videos and scale as your channel grows. Also, if you don't have enough budget, you can take one or two of the roles. For example, if you are good at the thumbnail, you can make them yourself or you can use AI instruments. Now that you have your team, it's time to create and publish your content. The first step is planning. Create a content calendar where you schedule your video ideas for the next month. This keeps you organized and ensures you're posting consistently. Aim for at least two to three videos per week. This will help you build momentum and attract subscribers. When it comes to the videos themselves, focus on quality. Your script should be clear and engaging, and the editing should keep viewers hooked. You can use tools like Canva for designing thumbnails or CapCut and Premiere Pro for editing videos. And here's something a lot of beginners overlook, SEO. Search engine optimization is critical for getting your videos discovered. Use tools like TubeBuddy or vidIQ to find keywords that people are searching for. Incorporate these keywords into your titles, descriptions, and tags to boost your video's visibility. Let's talk about monetization. Once your channel meets the YouTube Partner Program requirements, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can start earning from ads. But ad revenue isn't the only way to make money. Affiliate marketing is another excellent option. For example, if your niche is tech reviews, you can include affiliate links to products you mention in your videos. Whenever someone clicks the link and makes a purchase, you earn a commission. I have a whole video about the methods to earn money with your channel, you can watch it too. You can also partner with brands for sponsorships, where they pay you to feature their products or services in your videos. And if you have your own products or courses, you can promote those as well. Diversifying your income streams is the key to long-term success. As your channel grows, you can reinvest your earnings to scale even further. For instance, you can hire more experienced freelancers or add additional team members to create content faster. You might even want to start a second or third channel in a different niche. Some creators use tools like AI voiceovers or automated video editing software to streamline their process even more. The possibilities are endless once you have a system that works. And that's how you start and scale a YouTube automation business. Remember, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It takes time, effort, and smart planning to build a successful channel. But if you stay consistent and keep improving, the potential is huge. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on building online businesses. Thanks for watching.